2024 Lotus Amira Review, The Unveiling of Automotive Brilliance If you remove the badges from the three new generation Lotus models Electra, Evija, and Amira and poked around under the skin, only the Amira would be somewhat recognizable as a proper Lotus with its gas engines and relatively lightweight. That makes sense since this Lotus Amira represents the end of an era for the British carmaker as its final gas-powered sports car. The Amira comes with two rather different engine options, the first one being a Toyota Source 3.5-liter supercharged V6 with 400 horsepower and the other a 2.0-liter Turbo 4 with 360 horsepower from AMG, which is arriving later on. Only the V6 can be equipped with a manual gearbox. Weighing in at 3,097 pounds in its lightest form, the Amira perfectly recaptures the essence of Lotus in a compact, fun, sports car package, but one with all the modern amenities buyers expect. Rivals like the Porsche 718 Cayman and Chevrolet Corvette Z06 are quicker, but Lotus' ability to provide the driving thrills of much more powerful cars has always been its shtick, and the Amira appears to be no different. 2024 Lotus Amira Changes, What's New? The mid-engine Lotus Amira is an all-new arrival and the final gas-powered sports car from the British mark. Around the size of a Porsche 718 Cayman, it comes with two spirited engines and the option of a manual gearbox if you tick the box for the 400-horsepower supercharged V6. The Amira is based on the brand's latest sports car architecture with bonded extruded aluminum chassis technology that first appeared on the Elise. A sporty exterior and a wraparound driver's cockpit that is equipped with all the latest driver assistance gear round off this farewell to gas-powered Lotus sports cars. Pros and Cons Sporty and sophisticated styling, inside and out. Highly communicative hydraulic steering. Engaging manual gearbox. As fun to drive as the last gas-powered Lotus deserves to be. Interior is a huge step up for Lotus. Precious little cargo space. Harsh ride with available sports suspension. Cheaper trims not available yet. Not as customizable as Porsche Cayman. 2024 Lotus Amira. The 2024 Lotus Amira is the first model year for the new mid-engine sports car in the USA. It has been beset by production delays and certification issues further pushed back the arrival of the V6 first edition model. 1,500 V6 first edition models have been allocated to the USA before the cheaper four-cylinder models arrive in 2024 as 2025 models. This means that all 2024 models will use the 400 horsepower V6, and the Amira will also be most expensive this model year as only the high-spec first edition will be available at over $100,000. Amira Exterior Lotus says that the Amira's design evokes the allure of an exotic supercar in the sports car segment, and there are few onlookers who wouldn't describe it as an attractive machine. It has a wide stance, yet the compact overall dimensions make for a car that looks as agile as the name on the nose suggests. The sharp feature lines and fluid surfaces draw inspiration from the Avija, as do the exit vents on the hood that help to efficiently guide airflow over the body. All LED headlamps are standard and have a vertical design, while the hood's edge features the first implementation of the revised Lotus roundel. Along the sides, the doors feature sculpted sections that also serve an important aerodynamic role by guiding airflow toward the intake's position ahead of the rear wheels. The first edition comes with 20-inch bespoke forged alloy wheels that can be had in one of three finishes, diamond cut, silver, or gloss black. These wheels are shot in Goodyear Eagle F1 Supersport tires by default. At the back, the Lotus wordmark leaves other road users in no doubt about what car it is you're driving, and there are striking C-shaped LED light clusters. Twin tailpipes and an air diffuser complete what is probably the car's most arresting angle. Dimensions Roughly comparable in size to a Porsche 718 Cayman, the dimensions of the Lotus Amira make it one of the smallest high-end sports cars on the market. It has a length of 173.7 inches, a width of 74.6 inches, and an extremely low height of 48.2 inches. The wheelbase is 101.4 inches, which is short but actually 4 inches longer than the Cayman's wheelbase. 
Lotus has only quoted a curb weight of 3,097 pounds for the 2024 Amira in its lightest form, so we assume this applies to the base four-cylinder model that is arriving at a later stage. For the record, the base Cayman four-cylinder weighs 3,040 pounds with its manual gearbox. Despite it having a very modern interior and all the latest gadgets, Lotus should be applauded for keeping the Amira's weight quite low and comparable to the older Evora. Exterior Colors Lotus has curated quite a generous selection of exterior colors for the Amira. On the more reserved end of the palette, customers can choose from Cosmos Black, Shadow Gray, Zinc Gray, Nimbus Gray, Osmium Silver, Mist White, and Dark Verdant. There are three blues, Seneca, Atlantis, and Meridian, as well as Heffel Yellow. Vivid Red and Magma Red complete the palette, and to be honest, the Amira looks good in just about any one of these colors. A lower black pack that coats the airblades, front splitter, side sills, and rear diffuser in glossy black is standard on the first edition, and a more comprehensive optional black pack adds more black to the roof panel, the tailpipes, the rear Lotus badge, and more. For brake caliper colors for the Lotus Amira can further customize its appearance. Amira Performance For the 2024 model year in the USA, the only available engine is the 3.5-liter supercharged V6 sourced from Toyota. It produces 400 horsepower and 317 lb-ft of torque in the Amira with the automatic transmission, and the same power but slightly less torque of 310 lb-ft with the manual. With the manual, the Lotus Amira's 0 to 60 miles per hour time is 4.2 seconds, and the top speed is 180 miles per hour. If you prefer to leave shifting duties to the car, the automatic model will hit 60 in 4.6 seconds and a top speed of 169 miles per hour. These performance specs for the Lotus Amira are good, but it's also not overpowered or the fastest thing on four wheels. Despite its power deficit, the 360 horsepower 2.0 liter turbo 4 engine is nearly as quick as the V6 manual, reaching 60 in 4.3 seconds. This is likely because it has a quick shifting dual clutch automatic transmission. This engine will only be available at a later date, but as with the V6, it directs power to the rear wheels. Considering its price, the new Lotus Amira V6 First Edition is quick, but hardly the quickest sports car around. The Porsche 718 Cayman GTS 4.0 makes 394 horsepower but can reach 60 in 3.8 seconds with the Sport Chrono package and its dual-clutch automatic. As for the Chevrolet Corvette Z06, that will absolutely blow the Lotus away with its 670 horsepower V8 and 0 to 60 time of 2.6 seconds. Engine and Transmission the 3.5-liter supercharged V6 engine in the Lotus Amira is the familiar Toyota-sourced 2GRFE mill that's been around for a long time, having also been used in the Evora and Exige. Perhaps it wasn't worth Lotus developing all new gas engines from scratch, considering that the Amira is its final gas-powered car. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.